just recently, there's been a lot of people that have talked about abutment height. They've said taller abutment heights result in better outcomes. And so you say, okay, well, that's interesting. Let me go to the paper. And you read the paper, and the differences in the abutment height outcomes were plus or minus 200 microns. All right? So you say, okay, it doesn't seem very important clinically if it's 200 microns because it, you can't see it, right? I mean, 200 microns is very, very tiny, right? So you say, first of all, that doesn't sound like it's clinically relevant, but it's plus or minus 200 microns. And here's the rub. If you do a little more research, you'll find out that we don't have the ability to measure digitally accurately on radiographs below 400 microns. So what I'm saying here is that when, when we do an analysis with a radiograph and we're doing radiographic measurements, it's plus or minus 400 microns. 400 microns, guys. So if the, if the report that comes out says we've found a clinically significant difference and it's 200 microns, but the ability to measure is 400 microns, which is bigger than 200, it means what they're measuring is noise. They're, they're measuring noise in the experiment, and they're presenting that as a conclusion. 